Hi everybody and welcome to 1v1 on SoundersFC.com. I'm Matt Gash and joining me today is Servando Carrasco, second year midfielder with the Sounders. And how's the, how's the second year of training camp been going so far? So far it's been great. I mean, just to be back with the guys. I mean, we've been waiting for this for almost two months now. I feel like it was a little too much of a break for me. But um, yeah, it's great to be back and get back in, in the rhythm. You went back home for the break. How was, how was home? Home was, home was great. I mean, just getting to see my family. Hanging out with my friends I haven't seen in over a year. Just being able to surf and just hang out and go to the same restaurants that I've been going to since I was a kid was, was great. You guys also have a, a big group of MLS players down yeah. in that area as well, so it had to be fun to kind of yeah, get back I was, there and have I mean, a lot of the same scenarios. Exactly. I mean, growing up, we always played pickup at USD. I mean, these are guys who play for Dallas, Toronto. I mean, it's always a good level. We play like 5v5, small-sided games, and just toka toka and... I mean, we played that probably once or twice a week. What do you think you learned your first year playing here in Seattle? Um, I mean, I've learned so much, but I think the experience is the most important thing. I mean, playing in big games, going down to Monterey and playing that type of game has been great for me mentally and, and physically, but I think just the experience of this first year is, has been tremendous. We talked about this a bit kind of as it was happening, but your first start was in New York against the Red Bulls. We've got pictures of you defending yeah. Rafa Marquez. Yeah. What is that like for a player to, to kind of grow up watching someone and, and their first start, your first yeah. start, is, is an opportunity to play against one of, your, uh, one of your heroes growing up? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, before the game, I mean, I knew I was going to start the night before, so a lot went through my mind, just like, wow, I'm playing against a player that I've been watching since I was a kid. But then once the, the first whistle is blown, you forget about all that. I mean, you're out there to do your job to, to win the game. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but I mean, the names on the back of the jersey, once the game starts, it doesn't really matter who it is. How about learning for this year? What kind of things do you expect? Uh, have you been working on the off season and, and getting ready for this, your second season? Well, I mean, the physical aspect is one of the most important things. I mean, Dave Tunney's done an amazing job just giving us um, formulas of what to do during the off season. I mean, more physical as in weight lifting, more of quickness workouts, but I think the mental side of it and the quickness um, like on the field comes in these two to three weeks that we go to Arizona and then we go to Florida because we become familiar with each other. And I think that's the most important thing as of right now. But during the break, it wasn't really an off season, yeah, away from soccer, but you still had so many workouts to, to keep up with. So I think we've done a good job with that, but now the, the hard part starts. The, uh, the, uh, the other guy who plays your position on this team, Ozzy Alonso, is... Yeah perhaps one of, the, one of the better at that position in the league, kind of what, what is it you get from him, training with him every day at practice? I mean, I think it's just his, his awareness and his positioning on the field. Many people talk about his, his physical attributes. I mean, he's very fast. His, few, his first couple of steps are extremely quick, but that's only half of what he does well. I mean, the other half is the positioning, and that's where he gains an advantage on the attacking player that he's playing against and I think that's one of the things that people don't realize until you watch him day in and day out so just taking aspects of his game have made my game a lot better so I mean just watching him day in and day out I've, I've learned so much and I truly believe he's probably the best winning midfielder in the MLS. What does it take for you to get to that level? I think it's experience is one of the most important things I mean he's been here for for three years and I feel like I've grown a lot since this last season, and I'm only going to get better. Um, the physical aspect, I mean, I have probably the best strength and conditioning coach in the MLS. I mean, he's been, I mean, he's told me, and anything you need, just put in the hard work, and I'll give you the, the guidance. So, I mean, in that aspect, I, I think I'm covered. It's just a matter of, of work ethic and putting in the necessary time for that. Any games on the schedule you get circled? Anyone you're looking forward to in particular? <sighs> With so many friends well, around obviously, the league and everything, right? I mean, the Portland game. I mean, we play them, I think, three times this, this year with the new schedule. So those games are always exciting. Um, playing in, in L.A. is always fun. I mean, it doesn't really matter who you play, really. I mean, we're going to go out there with the same mentality and the same objective to win the game. But, I mean, there's obviously those little rivalries, like winning against Galaxy and winning against Portland and Vancouver. But, I mean, every game is, is just amazing to play in. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Appreciate your time. Yeah. This has been 1v1 with Servando Carrasco on soundersfc.com. Words are powerful. I'm Ziggy Schmid. 
Hearing the words retard and retarded makes people with intellectual disabilities and those who love them feel like less valued members of humanity. That's why we're asking you to help spread the word to end the R word. Stop by the Special Olympics booth and soccer celebration to pledge your support. It's time to respect and value people with intellectual disabilities. Please join us in eliminating this offensive language in everyday speech. Thank you.